Yes. So maybe uh, just uh, two words about myself. So I already said I'm Robert Schmidt. I work for the Open Interface Software Alliance. Actually, I work on the run and that since roughly one year now. So I joined the team and I work on run development and also on the testing efforts. And before that, I was actually working as a, well, I was a PhD student at Eurocom under the supervision of Navid Nikayan. And you can already see the name is the project coordinator of Mosaic 5G. And I was working on slicing and software defined radio access network. And towards the end, I was actually working on FlexRig. So I'm one of the original authors, if you want. So and in this position now, I also present the work of the Mosaic 5G group. So Mosaic 5G roadmap, and in particular here, the RIG activities. We already covered this a little bit, and I will present the roadmap as for the other groups. So um, one word about the Mosaic 5G uh, project group is the youngest. It was funded already be founded before by Eurocom and it was launched in 2016. So on the uh, Navit Nikayen. And initially uh, it hosted the Flex Run projects. And then there were some others uh, on core network and on orchestration and management as well. And uh, last year, May 2021, it was merged into the open interface to complement uh, the two existing run and core network project groups. And uh, in general, the objectives of Mosaic 5G is to provide an ecosystem of open source 5G and 4G service platforms, some reusable components, so X apps and service models. So this comes towards E2 and ORAN in general, and some use case descriptions. And in general, as we will see in a moment, also to provide an SDK to design and develop service models in X apps quickly and uh, without much of a hassle. Uh, so I already mentioned, so this uh, briefly shows the Mosaic 5G stack. So it builds on top of open air interface. So notably the radio access networks and the core network. And it is composed of uh, three additional parts. So the first is the Flexrix. So this will be the main um, part, the main topic of this presentation. There's also the Flexian, which is a research project to design a controller and experiment with the controller on top of the core network. And then there is the aspect of orchestration and management. So here the research name is Triomatics, but uh, in the following I will um, focus on FlexWick because this has the most traction also from industry and so on. So FlexRig, what is FlexRig? FlexRig is a flexible software-defined radio access network platform. And here the aspect is to be a kind of a software development kit. So first of all, as you can see in the right picture and as you can uh, well, I mean, first of all, it's a, an ORAN compliant E2 agent. So the agent speaks ASN1 as any E2 agent should be, but it could be extended. It has uh, a near real time RIC. So basically, the middle part, and this could uh, act as a replacement for, an, for example, for the ORAN RIC. And then there is an XF SDK. So you see in this picture on the side, there's a FlexRig SDK. So this is basically an agent library and a server library that aims to abstract E2 AP uh, so that you have an E2 compatible protocol. As I will mention this in a moment, there could be ASN.1, but there could in theory also be other uh, protocols. And then on top, you have the XApp SDK. So this is to build or facilitate the build of um, X apps uh, using notably between the controller and the XAP, the an extension of E2 if you want. So it has been called E42. And there is a CSDK and that has multiple language bindings to then develop XAPs in Python uh, and possibly in other languages. So um, it already provides a number of service models. So currently, and uh, what I will also show later in the demo is the E2 service model for KPM. So, uh, Yes, I mean, this is the, on the roadmap and until the end of the year, we aim to have a complete KPM, but I will show this. And other service models that have already been specified by Oran, so the run control and the uh, uh, cell configuration and control, I think it's called, uh, are to follow next year. And uh, apart from that, of course, uh, I mean, we, we didn't content ourselves with no service models. So there are a lot of service models that already exist that are custom. So for extracting information on RSC and PDCP, RSC, MAC, and then there are two additional service models. So one is mentioned here is the slice control, um, which is kind of inherited from Plexon that was there before. And then there's also a research project on having 
traffic control. Um, maybe one important point that I also like, like to highlight uh, is that FlexRig in itself is designed to be ultra lean. So especially it should be efficient and for resource restricted use cases. And I'm one of the things that, I mean, myself and with my colleague in particular, Mikael, when we worked on that in the beginning that we didn't want, we didn't want to have a Kubernetes cluster like all the other rigs I wanted to do. So something small that I could for sure be put into a cluster, but uh, should also be easy to use for research. And I personally didn't find Oran rig to be very easy to use as a PhD student last year. So, and maybe one uh, word. So actually the, the current release is version 1.0. This has been released just yesterday. So I didn't have any control. I don't know whether this is coincidence or not, but uh, now we're at 1.0. So maybe now, as I, since I already mentioned the Oran rig, just a couple of uh, comparison with the existing um, controller. So the Oran run intelligent controller and Onos SD run, or I think sometimes also called micro Onos. So, Adlen will talk about this later, and I guess you all have heard about the Oran rig. So, um, well, the first is the zero overhead. So what we mean is that flex rig is small, that uh, it is relatively easy to deploy and so on. So that's why we put there the yes for flex rig and the no for the others, but I guess it could be tuned. Uh, the encoding and decoding here in particular E2AP. So we see that uh, Oran rig and Onos, they have both ASN.1. I believe Onos internally also uses something else than only E2 AP, uh, ASN.1 for E2 AP messages that are sent to X apps, but nevertheless, I think on the South one, it only speaks ASN.1. Flexric has been designed with a kind of an abstraction to have ASN.1 and then flat buffers, and you could also uh, um, target other encodings. So basically here, the idea is that ASN.1 can be a bit complicated to use and also at times a bit slow. So flat buffers is another encoding scheme by Google that uh, is similar to protocol buffers in a sense, but aims to be very efficient. So we explored that and we implemented many messages in there, not all. So for the E2AP standard, so I put some stars both on the Oran rig and on flex rig. So for flex rig, V2 is on the roadmap, but my demo shows it later. So it kind of exists. SD run to my knowledge has already E2AP version two and Oran rig has it, but only for the controller platform. And I think many of the X apps don't actually have it. So maybe I would like to, if somebody knows more here, we can also discuss later on. So multi-language refers to building X apps. So all of them allow to build X apps in different languages like C, Python and Go and others. The E2 node implementation, well, they all target multiple implementations. So for research purposes in particular, Flexic has also been experimented with SRS. Although of course the primary target is open interface since it's with an open interface. And uh, one particular distinguishing feature of Flexric that we want to highlight is that the idea is that uh, these different service models are pluggable. So basically these are shared objects and they can be loaded and unloaded, whereas in the other implementations, especially in the E2 agent, they are usually compiled into, but uh, yeah, technicalities. So, and then since we are short in time, I have two quick slides on the roadmap. So maybe here the most uh, important short-term uh, things for FlexRig are that we upgrade to E2 AP version two, because the standard is there. Other controllers already have it, so Flexic should also have it, and I will show it. Um, then until now, the Flex repository was a separate repository, so there was not in, um, in all the Open Interface 5G repository, and then the visibility was limited, unfortunately, or maybe, I don't know. I mean, in any case, there are multiple implementations by now, but one of the uh, things that we decided is to merge this implementation and of course have it feature uh, on par uh, feature parity with other implementations. Um, a short-term goal is interoperability with Oran RIG, which I actually tried to do with my demo. I will explain later whether it was not possible and also then Onos SD run. And then to have full support for the introduction, full support for KPM v2, and then also an interoperability with the different accepts of the different controllers. So this is for the, uh, I hope you can read this. Yes, you probably can. So in this were basically the short-term roadmap for 2022. Then there are a couple of other um, features. So in the quarter one, we have a database integration in FlexRig. 
So there's already something where the XAP SDK actually writes all the messages into an SQLite database, but we want to extend this a little bit. Um, there are more things such as um, the service models that we want to implement. So you see there the run control RC. Uh, so first of all, we want to go with uh, something basic like uh, an, an emulator. Um, and then, uh, yes, I mean, in general, the Oran rig will be the first step. And then after all, we go with uh, Onos uh, integration. And then in the medium to long term, so we want to have, of course, full support for the run control because this is probably one of the most important service models. Um, we want to support additional features such as traffic steering. And especially in quarter three, you see there also the where do we see this on the bottom right? Oran cell configuration X app. So basically, we want to support the E2SM CCC for cell configuration and control. So this is what I want to highlight here because we are also short in time. I will keep it short and simple. Do we have questions? Uh, so well, this is what I meant with uh, merge of of uh, the E2 agent into open interface. So I mean, it is not in develop because it's simply not merged. But I can tell you that both 4G and 5G are actually supported by Flexrig. So there are these uh, custom service models like for PDCP and Mac and so on, and they work both with 4G and 5G. And then some of the service models, for example, this. Uh, slice control works with the 4G slicing implementation. I made a simple proof of concept also for 5G that uh, I think is in the repository. So basically it works with both 4G and 5G, but it's not much, but this will happen soon. So hopefully even this year, December. And thanks for all your reflections. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome.